Well, thank you. I wish I was your mayor. <laughs> so do we! Uh, so do we! <laughs> look at the hat, you know? I mean, you can't get a mayor with a hat like that. <laughs> but if I was your mayor, or if I was on city council, as I uh, had been in the past, I would say no. Yeah. Yeah. Colorado Springs does not need this for who we are as a community. And when you think about Colorado Springs, you think about our beautiful outdoor life, our clean air, one of the cities with the cleanest air in the country, water that's primary source water from the mountains that's a privilege to drink. It's not a right, it's a privilege. And we as a community depend on tourism for our economy. So th think about what it means. Uh, you know, there, there's no place in the city that I can imagine that wouldn't have an impact to who we are as a community, to what we're trying to market, to what our ethics and value systems are here today. When you go into a room full of people and you ask them why they've moved to Colorado Springs, it's not because of Walmart, it's not because of 7-Eleven, they love the mountains, the outdoor life, the clean air, the clean water. It's a no-brainer for us. It really is, and and, and uh, we, we don't know what's going to happen up there today. I, I certainly uh, think that council should delay or cancel or not go anywhere near this until it gets settled statewide. Too many unanswered questions. If we wanted to ban fracking, there was a poll done last week that said the majority of people in Colorado Springs would support it. That's the will of the people right now. Without education, without a campaign, when you think about Longmont, just as conservative as Colorado Springs, they banned it 60 to 40 percent. The, the pro-fracking people spent a half a million dollars in a campaign against them. It's not the will of our people. It's not who we are as a community. We have to say no. Yeah.